Hello, hello, hello. How are you? This is Pompey Morandanti again. And salam alaikum to my Omani students. And today, I will be talking about rounding and approximation. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so when quantities or numbers are written using decimals, it is often sensible to round them to a certain number of figures. And rounding may be described using other decimal places or significant figures. But before going, before giving an example, let's try to recall first about the decimal places. Okay, take note of this. We're in... The decimal point is our reference point, and to the left side are the ones, tens, hundreds, and so on and so forth. And to the right, remember, it started with tenths, okay? Hundreds, thousands, and so on and so forth, okay? So let's start giving example now. Okay, I have here an example. Round these numbers to three decimal places, okay? For letter A, we have 14.2573 or... We also read this one as 14 and 2,573 ten thousands. For letter B, we have here 0 0.0258 or we also read this one as 258 ten thousands. Okay, let's start giving the solution for letter A. Okay, for the solution for letter A, so we are going to round this number to three decimal places. So first, we have to make the cut after three decimal places and that is between 7 and 3, and the first digit after the cut is 3, which is less than 5, so we round down, meaning we just leave 7 as is, okay? So our final answer here is 14.257 in 3 decimal places, okay? Okay, for the next example, the cut here is after 5, okay, since it's 3 decimal places, and if here, if the number after the cut is 5, or more then we round up okay here it is 8 so the 0 0.025 rounds up to 0 0.026 in other words we are going to add up one if we are going to round up okay so that's how we do the rounding of numbers now rounding to a certain number of significant figures can be confusing the best way is to look at the number from left-hand direction and pick out the first non-zero digit and this is the first significant figure, okay? Then count the significant figures across to the right. The confusing thing is whether zeros should be counted as significant. Well, in order to understand all these words, let's give an example. Okay, here we go. Okay, I have here a table with three columns. We have the number okay and then the comments okay the comment column and then the number of significant figures so basically we are going to f to investigate here whether uh, to find out whether how many significant figures are there in a given number okay so let's start with twenty-four thousand. okay in this number twenty-four thousand. We are going to in our our investigation process here uh, focuses here on the zeros okay now the first two digits here in the left-hand direction is 2 and 4. In other words, this 2 and 4 here are considered significant figure. SF here means significant figure. The three zeros here are not significant. They merely act as placeholders. In other words, this 24,000 is written in 2 SF or significant figure. Okay? That's it. Next example. We have 305,000. Okay, be careful in dealing with zeros. So in this case, the first significant digit on the left-hand direction is 3, and then followed by 0, and then 5. So in this case here, the first 0 is a significant figure because it is in between the two significant figure. In other words, guys, if there is 0 in between the the significant figures we consider them as significant also so in this case the three zeros here are just placeholders okay so 305,000 is written in three significant figure next one this number here is 0 0.00027 or we simply read this one as 25 27 hundred thousands 
Okay, so here we have, this is in decimal form. Okay, we have to be very careful now in dealing with decimal numbers. In decimals rather. So here we have zeros before the significant digit. The question is, are they significant? So, the first significant figure here is 2. Okay, in other words, 7 is also significant. The previous zeros here, the first three zeros here, are merely placeholders. Same as 2 with this. This is a representation of a whole number. Okay, so in other words, guys, 2,700 thousands. This decimal is written in 2SF, in two significant figures, okay? Now, let's give another example here. Look at this. Oh, there is a number in between 4 and 3 which are significant. So, basically, these two zeros here are not significant. So, in other words, how many SF are we having here? We have plainly 1, 4, and 3 are significant figures and 0 which is between them also a significant figure but the other zeros are not so in other words this 1403 hundred is written in four sf or four significant figures next in the last example here look at this very carefully it's 250 thousands how do you think now what do you think how many significant figures are, do we have here this is very tricky number, huh? so be very careful on this. Actually, here, in the left-hand direction, 2 is the first significant figure. So basically, 5 is also a significant figure. The question now is whether 0 here is significant. Now, for your information, watch out, guys. You might think only 2 and 5 are significant. The final zero here, however, has no role as a placeholder because we can actually rewrite, we can also write this one as just simply 0.25. They are also equal or 25 hundredths. But zero here is significant, okay? Because if we want to write the number in thousands, so this is... 250,000, we, we, we read this one as 250,000, and this is 2,500. They are read differently, but they are equal in value, but zero there is significant. Why? See, we significant because it changes the, um, the way we, we read it. It's 250,000. The other one is 2,500, but they are actually equal to each other okay but my point here is zero here is significant so in other words 250 thousands is in three significant figure okay Okay, I have here examples on how to round numbers using significant figures. Letter A, I have here 156,230. Round this in 2 SF, meaning significant figure. So first, we have to count on the left-hand direction, the first two uh, significant figures, and then you put a cut there, and you check the one beside 5 is 6, and therefore we add up 1 to 5, and the new number now, the approximated value is 160,000 in two significant figures, okay? Okay, so the next number here is 896 ten thousandths or 0 0.0896 in two significant figures. So first, we have to investigate how many, uh, the first, on the, on the left-hand direction, the first two significant figures there is 8 and 9. So therefore, the cut must be in between 9 and 6. And since it's greater than 5, we add up 1 to 9. And then there you go, that becomes... 0 0.09t in two significant figures okay so take note of that this is in significant the zero there is significant okay that's it next one and the last example here is 10.09 in three significant figure so in that case since we already have one there as the first significant 
So in other words, the zeros there are considered significant. We started counting from 1, then the two zeros. In other words, the cut is between 0 and 9. Okay? So what will happen now to 0? Add up to 1. And the new number now becomes 10.01 in three significant figures. Okay? So that's it, guys. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and comment on my YouTube channel. Bye-bye. Thank you. Hello, hello, hello.